Hey, what's going on, guys? We're doing a war recap of Short Bus Gamers. This clan has just been such a fun clan to be in. Uh, 50 vs. 50 Elite Wars. Um, I mean, it's just been so much fun. And, uh, yeah, this was like a, I mean, blowout. 33 to 2 triples. Um, you know, a lot of these bases were more trophy push bases. But, I mean, you know, anytime you get that many, over 30 triples in a 50 vs. 50 war, like, that's just incredible, man. That's, I mean, there's no... There's no going about saying that that is just an insane, you know, skill level. Um, and starting off, we've got SGE, and he's going to be doing kind of an uh, e electric dragon funnel. Um, and I mean, look at that, it was 20% with just the two uh, electric dragons. And then he's got the wall wrecker, uh, Pekka Bobat, and the Pekkas and the bowlers going in straight to that town hall. They get all the way to that town hall. And then the bats were able to take out a few defenses around that ring. But again, you know, those electric dragons took out so many defenses and structures to make that um, uh, the kill squad just get so much value throughout the core. And then from there, you know, it's just insane cleanup. I love hitting all those traps on the way out. I, that's such a satisfying feeling to me. Like when the raid's almost done, you know you're going to 100%. And you just start setting off all their traps, like insult to injury, just causing them more pain and, and making them like use more resources to uh, fill those traps again. <laughs> so much fun. Um, now we have Copper Top and he's going to be doing, you know, this is a very popular CWL base, um, maybe in trophy pushing bases, but, uh, you know, it's all kind of got the same the same point about it. Um, you know, we've seen this replays a few times. And, you know, Pekka Bobat, he's doing a direct line from the through the Eagle Artillery to the Town Hall. The wall wrecker gets all the way to the Town Hall. The bats take out, you know, a few uh, ring of defenses around the sides. But other than that, I mean, the kill squad is just so overpowered. He's still got, like, two or three Pekkas alive. And those Pekkas are just going to make their way through that wall with the Queen and the Warden and the Healers. And, I mean, it's just game over. Uh, game over. Now we've got SBGCH. Now, this is one of the uh, other co-leaders. And, hey, we actually have an Anti-3 star base here. Uh, Anti-3 star base that didn't really work that well for Anti-3. Um, so basically he's doing a Sui Heroes and, uh, is able to take out, you know, a lot of defenses there. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure he was going to try and get that, uh, air defense there in the core there. Um, but you know, the enemy CC came out and blah, blah, blah. And then he is able to take out that queen. And, um, then he's just going to Lalo from about the 10 o'clock counterclockwise and going to just push through getting that Eagle artillery up first to, you know, make sure that those high hit point or damage structures are gonna just go away with that. Warden's ability over the town hall, Giga Tesla, um, and then the last haste spell hits that tornado trap, which is just such a pain in the butt. Um, hit tornado trap right outside the last multi target inferno, and then there's only two more air targeting defenses left, and that is gonna be that archer tower and that grand warden. And then that our Grand Warden actually took out that other uh, Archer Tower quick, which is great. Um, you know, those Lava Pups from the enemy CC are just a pain in the butt. And then, you know, we got a, a good cleanup with the Warden and the Lava Pups and the Minions. So, um, yeah, you know, that was a, a really cool raid, that E-Clone uh, Lalo. So... On to the next one, um, and this is, you know, another popular, I think this is more of a push base you see pretty frequently, um, and this is just another way to, to go about taking it out. Um, there is a uh, Ice Golem, Loon, and Drag CC, which is actually a good uh, CC. I, I actually tend to donate that quite a bit in my, uh, in Black Rose or just Ordinary. And then he's just going to basically mass P.E.K.K.A. Bowitch it, um, you know, you get that warden, or I'm sorry, that wall wrecker into the town hall, and that queen is able to take out the town hall as well, and then you have just the, uh, Pekka bowlers going around <laughs> all the way around the outside, and you won't believe it, but the last structure to actually, actually be taken out is that eagle artillery, and notice that little minion who almost took it out all by himself, the little minion was going in for the win, but unfortunately, the rest of the kill squad, I mean, that's just, you know, a tail of the tape. You having that minion take up uh, that entire eagle artillery, one of the most—I mean, the most hard defense to to cope with when attacking and it's still up. All right, now you got Jr. the the mighty Jr. leader of short bus gamers doing an insane 
Peckabo Witch, and again, it's going to be, this is a awkward, maybe trophy base, maybe CWL base, whatever, what, what you may have, um, and he's got a troll Tesla at the 12 o'clock, but I mean, these, these bowlers, and I mean, just, I, I mean, it, it made short work of this base, it was insane, I mean, literally, look at all the leftover troops that Queen still love, Warden, and then, you know, the other kill squad troops, so that was just a real quick, easy triple right there. Now we got Uncle Monkey, and you know, this is kind of like a divided base, um, and he does a really good job of kind of breaking it up. So, again, he's doing a Pekka Bowit, or I'm sorry, Pekka Bobat, and he's he funneled the kill squad perfectly so that the uh, all the kills, the kill squad is going to go into the core there. Um, going to take out that Town Hall, use the Warden's ability a little bit early, but luckily the Giga Tesla did not blow up on the majority of the troops. And then take a look at this, you know, he's got the uh, bats coming in at the 1 o'clock, which is really cool because, um, you know, those wizard towers were spaced out just enough to the fact that uh, they weren't going to hit each other as the bats were taken on the other wizard towers. So, um, you know, there's still a little bit of a kill squad left. There's, I mean, tons and tons of tons of bats left. And, you know, all that's left is clean up. You know, when, you, when you're done with all the defenses at 80% and you got like a minute left on the raid, you uh, it's going to be an easy triple. So yeah, that was a. I mean, that's a cool raid. How he uh, he was able to divide that base up basically into two, and yeah, um, you know, here's another base that is uh, pretty. I don't know. These guys just did not. These guys just did not have any like elite anti three bases. I mean, this is probably a six month old base, honestly. And uh, you know, there's multiple ways of going about it, and Infinity GB is able to you know secure the triple with just a. An easy, I mean, basically a Sui Hero Lalo um, with Stone Slammer. And, um, yeah, he, uh, yeah, Sui the, the Queen on the Town Hall. And then from there, you know, is trying to get rid of that E-Dragon and the uh, CC just because he doesn't want that E-Dragon to be doing damage on the Lalo. Um, from there, he's got the Stone Slammer in straight on that multi-target Inferno, and he's strategically placing those loons. You notice it wasn't like a spam loon. You know, a lot of times when you see, um, when you see a Lalo with this big of whatever, you see a lot of, like, just spam, but this was very tactical. He uses skeleton traps in the core there to make sure that it takes out that queen, because if that queen was still going to be up, oh, that's game over. I mean, that is game over for Lalo. You just can't have the queen up while uh you're doing a lalo in the core of this uh base so yeah infinity infinity just a very tactical approach on a on a very old base and um you know works out great i usually like to kill squad hog that because you can just get so much value that kill squad right into that town hall core now this is kind of an awkward base uh i you know i don't think i've seen this exact one i've obviously seen variations of it in cwl and whatnot but um i mean just look at the e-drag value you know like there wasn't any air targeting uh defenses there and just the e dragons made a huge funnel um and then the pekka bowlers are going straight through that eagle artillery area um that town hall was in terrible placement because you could hit the town hall from the middle uh compartment from the queen um and then just basically bat the rest uh i mean just super op terrible base um you know the town hall at least needs to be one more tile over so that it's more secure um here we go we have an anti-3 and this is from sbg mo and notice his funnel that he's doing he uses a baby dragon a couple archers and that loon to distract and take out you know those defenses real quick uh that wall wrecker going into the core there you freeze the um single target inferno to make sure that that wall wrecker got deep into that core where that jump spell is going to have the most effectiveness you know that king already funneled the entire three o'clock um, and then that queen is just going to push through the core of the space using a double IG, two loon, CC. And I mean, it's those ice golems on the uh, attacking side just have so much value and um, is able to take out the enemy queen and then take out the enemy town hall and then take out that eagle artillery. I mean, literally the three biggest threats on any base is the Giga Tesla, the eagle artillery and the enemy queen. And he was able to take him out with a short and simple queen walk, which was just so OP. Perfect. Um, notice how he used that poison uh, poison spell over those skeleton traps. And then he even used the hogs on a rage in that uh, multi-target inferno area. And then, you know, he's got a couple wizard towers, a couple point defenses. He's actually going to distract that last wizard tower with that loon, 
which is, I mean, to have the timing of that is, I mean, that's a well, a well dedicated and rehearsed player because he just knew the timing of that loon that's going to distract from the, um, from the hogs. I mean, which is just huge value. Uh, now we have bash my base, uh, yeah, Bash My Base, he's been taking kind of lead on um, leading short bus gamers. I will say, <laughs> this guy now, I don't mean, you know, with all due respect, my man, he gets a little aggravated sometimes, which is good. You know, you need a you need a leader that's going to be aggravated, and, and, you know, if the clan's not performing up to top tier, then, you know, you need someone who's going to set him straight. And, uh, you know, every time I've seen him raid, he's always in the 95% percent plus uh, percentile on on triples you know he's he's like right there if he's not tripling he's at a 99 percent. i mean that's just his luck um and this was a perfect base to do pekka bobat with that single target inferno and all those point defenses at around the three o'clock all right now we got me hey guys hey how's it going um i'm gonna be doing a kill squad hog attack on this base it's just the funnel was just so easy um even though that pekka can only get a few structures still you know having that king there that wall wrecker is able to push straight into the town hall luckily that town hall was right on the edge because <clears throat> it kept the whole kill squad you know able to target the town giga tesla um jump spell right into the core you know this is typical this is i i am calling it my signature kill squad hog attack now because you know i don't see anyone else do it and uh i, am, I, I use it almost every war i want to say um Definitely trying a little bit more raids with like Electron Hogs. Uh, I posted a video on Fix That Raid with Electron Hogs just a little bit ago, so make sure you check that out. Um, yeah, you know, here it was just good placement of heal spells and that kill squad just having maximum value. Notice in that compartment at the 6 o'clock, there was two giant bombs and then that bomber tower. So that was a super devastating hit to all my hogs, but I had a great heal spell that was in time and uh, was able to just, you know, mow through the rest. Notice my kill squad. Um, the only thing that's really left out of my kill squad is that Barbarian King. And then I had the cleanup wizards on the top side, the backhand side, to, to make sure that it was going to be a triple. And I didn't time fail because I hate time failing, guys. Time failing is worse than just doing like a, a two-star fail, you know, or something like that. Or one-star even. I, I, I'd i rather have a, a one-star than a two-star time fail. It's just so demoralizing. All right, now we have the Pillager. And the Pillager is doing a backhand side... Pekka Bobat, and just notice the, uh, I mean, the kill squad is phenomenal. I mean, the, the funnel was great. He got the kill squad straight into the core. Use the Warren's ability early to make sure that that, <clears throat> make sure that that wall wrecker gets in further. Use that, the king was getting targeted by that enemy queen, so he used the king's ability, which was able to just mow down that queen. Uh, notice the placement of the bats. The bats are going to have literally only, oh, that tornado trap was took out a bunch of them. But um, other than that, you know, just a couple wizard towers that were isolated. Um, that multi-target inferno was kind of distracted a little bit, and then from there, you know, on the on the le what's left of this raid is all just one tile in structures, which mean bowlers can attack them, or that warden or wizards or you know what what may, whatever you'd like to say um, that has like a distance attack and was able to get that hidden Tesla for the triple. And yeah, the pillager, that was a, a great Pekka Bobat raid. All right, guys. Um, obviously, I can't sit here and show all 33 triples. So we're just going to do like honorable mentions on the lower half of this base. Um, you know, we'd be here making hour long videos. And, you, you know, there was a few repetitive bases. So it's just not, it's not constructive to your time or my time. But uh, yeah, you know, I hope you guys like that. 33 to 2 triples, guys, on this level 23 clan. I mean, this. I just can't believe it. And here's, you know, like a summary of all the guys uh, and their attacks. So um, great war. You know, whenever you get that 33, anything above basically 20 triples in a 50 versus 50 war is, is just insane. So short post gamers is coming in hot. You know, they got a pretty stacked roster. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was a fun war. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And I uh, hope to see you next time.